So, in order to be able to start with our workforce that we have, we now run what is called a 24-hour economy, mm -hmm. a three-shift system. Mm -hmm. So that some workers who work in the morning are for production, eight hours production in the morning, eight hours production uh, manufacturing in the afternoon, and eight hours in the afternoon. Is it your policy or John Muhammad's policy? It is my policy, and it is here on this book. So John Muhammad, I'll pop it from you. This is, um, this is the APC manifesto, 21. Look at it. Well, can I? Yes, APC manifesto. 2020. 20, 20. Okay, read. But they also claim it's in their 2020 manifesto, I don't know, right? Yes. Number 30, I have to 20. So, number 30, uh, 24 hours production into like a three shift system for companies, business, and workers. Okay. If you could please pick this. So, you know, no more, we'll feel who said pick number 30. Uh, so, this is. Um, so, you've seen that. And see, all right, you're a get you say, oh no, 24 hour economy in the world. The manifesto with that, in fact, 2020 uh, manifesto. And it's not so, on that page alone, it's yes. on about several pages. Yeah, so, and, uh, so you hear him say that it's on several pages. Okay, so according to John Ramani Mahama, and also the 2020. Uh, they, 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 so, they, 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 me name your copy free. They have adapted it for me. I have given you a vivid explanation of the reason of my 24 hour economy. How different is yours from theirs? I don't know how theirs is, but I'm giving you a vivid of the reason for my 24 hour economy. The reason for my 24 hour economy is I'm locking down Ghana to okay. make it a productive manufacturing industry. Mm -hmm. By doing so, we have to work 24 hours around the clock to build them. Well, I have worked 24 hour economy 20 years ago mm -hmm. in Germany. I've lived with it. Mm -hmm. I grew up with it. Mm -hmm. So I know it. This manifesto you see me holding here and here, mm -hmm. I drafted the manifesto. Mm -hmm. So I know what I put in there. But people say it's not possible. I've heard Napo says and, and I, please, that even God please, sleeps and please, uh, please, it's impossible. Please, please. When you have a country that depends on other nations to survive, mm. <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely not possible. When you have leaders who do not have vision and ideas to build a country and make promises, exactly they would think it's not possible. No country has succeeded with its citizens sleeping 16 hours and working 8 hours. In that's, Ghana, that's profound. Yes. Mm. In Ghana, we sleep 16 hours. We use 16 hours for any sort of thing. And the it. only hours we work is 8 hours. And even the eight hours, we spend one hour to work. From the eight hours, we go there, we waste one hour talking to each other like and gossiping. Three hours, we do the work without productivity. It will take one hour to drive back home, traffic. Two hours before the work ends, nobody's working. Everybody's on his way. No controlling of workers' mm. attendance in and out. All that will be introduced under my government. You okay. come to work and you have to click. The time you are at work, the time you close work, we have a card for you. You just don't say you're a worker. You must be a worker with evidence. Mm. So all these things will be captured mm. in the system. Mm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. So the 24-hour economy is to make Ghana vibrant day and night and to increase productivity and increase job creation and make this country a self-reliant economy where we will increase the activities and job creation. Now, Ghanaian labor force will be too small to help build a 24-hour economy. So we need to import labor mm -hmm. from the neighboring countries, Togo, Burkina, Cote d'Ivoire, and everything. So every aspect of the sector of economy must work 24 hours mm -hmm. around the clock mm -hmm. to help the productive manufacturing industry up and make ourselves efficient. After this, I move to the next policy. Okay. My next policy, which is the welfare of the Ghanaian citizens. Mm -hmm. Welfare of Ghanaian citizens, because over the years, now that we are increasing the 24-hour economy, Ghanaians will need enough salary 